You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of SmackDown Live from February 27th. Yeah. So we got a little change in the program this week. Well, we inserted somebody <clears throat> who hasn't been around. Yeah. You can insert anything into SmackDown and it'll make it better than it is. It's true. Well, maybe not anything. Pretty much. It'll be different, at least. It's true. It will be different. That, it yeah. will be different. That's, that's I guess, different is a, is a plus most of the time. Pretty that. much, yeah. I mean, that's been the biggest gripe is the staleness. Well, because it's the same thing over and over again. Over and over. And don't worry, we still got that this week. It's true, yeah. But. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, the show opens uh, with the Bludgeon Brothers coming <laughs> out. <clears throat> uh, actually what really happened was john cena came out and the graphic where his name would be said the bludgeon brothers yeah good old kevin Dunn. yeah it's pretty funny mm-hmm. um but yeah cena comes out to address what he had talked about the night before where he was going to come to smackdown to determine uh or to i guess announce what he wanted to do for his wrestlemania plans yes um so he says that the only one who has a guaranteed path to wrestlemania is shinsuke nakamura because he won the Rumble, which is obvious. Um, not true, but, you know. Well. Not at this point in the game. Uh, well, yeah, on Roman SmackDown. Won. Yeah, yeah, I guess on SmackDown, that's yeah. true. Because he had already lost his chance on Raw. I guess. Yeah. Nobody said that. Kurt Angle didn't go, all right, John, I've had enough of you here. You're not going to WrestleMania. <laughs> You're not welcome Get over to the anymore. B show, damn it. Oh, uh, we need ratings. Yeah. Well, that's that's really what that's it was. That's absolutely the reason so, he went to SmackDown. Anyway. He could have taken a dump in the ring, and it would have uh, increased ratings. It's true. Well, actually, I don't even know if it did increase ratings, to be honest. Also but true. I would assume that um, Big Match John. Yeah. Well, he has more of an impact than anybody else. It's true. So, um, anyway, he goes, there's a Fatal 5-Way match happening in a fast lane, mm-hmm. and I want in on it. Yep. And he's like, I'll do whatever it takes to get there. Yep. And then Shane comes out. Yep, we got both of these son of a bitches. <laughs> but yeah, <sighs> Shane's talking. Honestly, don't even remember what he said. Um, Th- there's no point in caring about what yeah, he says because yeah. it's some sort of nonsense where he plugs where, where whatever city they're in yeah. and then he... I don't understand why fans cheer for him. Probably no says sense. something about Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn that's relevant to absolutely Unlike nothing. Unlike those two that Daniel Bryan likes, yeah. who actually deserve <laughs> to be in the title picture. Yeah, probably. So, um, Shane, I guess he kind of talks good about Cena or something. Yes. And then uh, Daniel Bryan comes out to cut him off and then... Basically, Dan O'Brien goes, well, since this is the land of opportunity, yeah. we'll give you an opportunity in the main event tonight. <laughs> so so he's, he makes the match. AJ Styles versus John Cena. If Cena yeah. wins, he's in the in the match. Your opponent will be someone you're very familiar with. Yes, which is true. Yeah, and we knew exactly who it was going to be at that point. Well, Granted, yeah, he could him against Kevin Owens. He's familiar with him as well. Yeah, it's actually been a longer period of time between oh, the two of yeah, them. Obviously, but... Yeah. He would also be familiar with Randy Orton. Oh, God. Could you imagine if they had done that? Yeah. He'd be familiar with... You remember with... randomly when they main evented a SmackDown or just had a match on SmackDown last year? No. Yeah, I could have sworn they had a I, random I, I match. I believe you. Yeah. I just don't remember it. And we were just like, really? Yeah. All the people on the roster, you put these two together? <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, um, oh, yeah. Up next, we have Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. Yeah, I think this match was announced earlier on, right? I'm, or, I'm sure that, that graphic came yeah. up right after, before the commercial or Probably. whatever. Probably, and Kevin Owens was on commentary. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, this match was kind of hard to focus on. It's true. Because they kept jumping back and forth between Shane and Daniel Bryan watching the match in Backstage, the back and yeah. talking, and then Shane grabbing popcorn. And When did we see the Carmella segment? Was that in the next match, or was this, ma- this match as well? I think it was later on. I it think was it was during the women's match. Was actually. it during? Oh, okay. I think so. I, I felt like it just felt like everything happened during this match. And then we got the picture in picture commercial break during this yes. match. And uh, um, it was but, funny because Daniel Bryan and Shane made a comment about the. Uh, or Kevin Owens doing well on commentary. And I was like, you can't hear the commentators. You guys have the camera on the TV. Did well, you just turn off the volume as soon as we went back there? Yeah. Um, Silly best. So. But yeah, the first cut to the back was Shane complaining about 
Daniel Bryan letting Owens mm-hmm. be on commentary because he knows he's going to get involved. And then Shane, and then they go back to the action in the ring. <clears throat> and then they go back, and Shane, I guess, left to do something. Yeah. So he comes back with a box of popcorn. Mm-hmm. He's eating it, yep. strange and sweaty. Um, <laughs> so Daniel Bryan. He must sweat in everything the man does. Yeah. So he go, he goes with the Daniel Bryan, and he's like, "Oh, I just had some, un, I had some something to arrange, mm-hmm. or something like that." So obviously he planned on having Dolph get involved right. because he was the only one available mm-hmm. to do it. Um, so, well, was it? A, oh, okay, never mind. That was after the match had happened. What? When Daniel Bryan was leaving? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> so anyway, so yeah. they cut back to the action, <clears throat> right? And, then, and we're getting. The, the picture is on Kevin Owens on commentary, and all of a sudden, somebody jumps the guardrail and kicks him in the head. Yeah. He just goes down with the chair like a ton of bricks. Yeah. And then... It was, uh, it was actually orchestrated. Oh, it was, well. it was very good, yeah, yeah, because you weren't expecting it. It's true. And then Dolph kind of, like, ran over to the side of the ring and mm. was hiding. It yeah, like. and Sami Zayn's like, oh, what's going on? Is yeah. somebody out there? So with the distraction, Sami Zayn gets... Uh, Hit with the hit, end of days. Yeah, end of the days by Corbin. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Um, oh, during the entire match, pretty much, it looked like Baron was trying to incite Owens oh, yeah. to attack him. Going back in the ring, if you're looking for your hairline out it's here, on it's top on top of your head. head. <laughs> it's like, oh, it man. Funny. Great. Now next week, uh, Corbin's going to make fun of Owens' weight. Uh, yeah, it's definitely possible. Uh, uh, so. <clears throat> good old SmackDown. Yeah. And then um, I guess Corbin's celebrating, and then Ziggler hits him Doing with the, the zigzag. zigzag. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And that's when we go backstage with Shane and Daniel Bryan. Shane probably said something about the way things played out. Mm-hmm. And then Daniel Bryan was like, seems like you got everything under control here. Can I, can I head out for the night? Mm-hmm. I'm going to see uh, Bree and uh, Birdie. And he's like, Birdie Danielson, can I uh, say hi or something like that? Right? Tell no, me. he just said, oh, you're going to see Birdie? Yeah. Tell, tell them I, I said, said hi. <laughs> yeah, it. I guess that was what it was. Yeah. Yeah. While he's eating his popcorn. Yeah. And he then, had that popcorn for a while. Owens and Zane are backstage, and obviously they're unhappy about the results yeah. of what had happened. And the chain comes up and still eating his popcorn. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's, what did he say? He said something about, uh, you better uh, run along now and make it to Daniel Bryan's house because, yeah, uh, what is it, Birdie doesn't like to wait? Or no, Bree, Bree, Bree doesn't gets like mad when you when guys are late for dinner, right? Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. <sighs> so dumb. That's true. So unnecessary. It's true. Whatever. <sighs> And then Speaking up, of unnecessary dumb things. Well, yeah. Up next we had Ruby Riot versus Naomi and all women got their entrances, entrances as usual. Yep. Um, um this match was a no brainer. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Because it's just the way the things have played out yeah. since Charlotte beat uh Liv and uh what's her face? Sarah, Sarah Logan. Yeah. yeah. And then Ruby beat Becky, Becky or pinned Becky Lynch last week, mm-hmm. so obviously Naomi's going to lose to her this week, yep, and which is the case. The two of them are going to meet at fast. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. means that next week nothing will happen? Six women dick. No, just... no, no, nothing <laughs> can happen, though, I would imagine, right? Why? Well, because if they both have the wins over the other ones. Double disqualification. Maybe, but why would you do that? Look. We're talking about SmackDown. I know, I know. You have to question everything. Their motives behind everything they do. Touche. Touche. Um, But yeah, uh, Ruby Riot wins with the Riot kick. Nothing really special going Mm -hmm. on here. It wasn't even that much interference on the outside. No, not really. They pretty much just had a straight match. Yeah. Um, So yeah. Yeah. Then we go backstage, and uh, this is our plug for the new what was it unsolved show or whatever yeah, i think it was. it's called unsolved and it's about the, the biggie murder. and tupac murders yeah so yeah. they've been plugging this show for a while now right yes well there's been commercials for it yeah at least. Oh, i don't think the w, I mean. WWE no, 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 no. Hasn't I, I just done. mean the usa yeah. network so it was finally premiering after smackdown mm-hmm. so they had josh dumal there or dumel whatever you want to dumal yeah the uh other person that was accused of uh Purchasing steroids along with uh, Roman Reigns. It's kind of funny that <laughs> it works was out like funny, that. yeah. Um, but yeah, he he comes <clears throat> over to the fashion police who are reviewing their board of solved cases, yeah. which is kind of funny. Did you like the uh, saw one? It said solved. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> and then the uh, X Files one says X solved. Yeah, I, I gotta have it, the little jabs great. in there. It's great. Um, but yeah, he comes over and he says he's a big fan of them. Mm. 
And he was talking about his the, the show, obviously, that right. was going to be put on later. Yeah. And <laughs> what was it, Fandango, that brought up Biggie? He's like, yeah, we know where Biggie is. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, the New Day enter, and he's like, yeah, that's Biggie. He's like, no, <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. He's like, Biggie. Yeah. He's like... The he's boys. a rapper? Yeah, yeah, he's or a he rapper. he was a rapper? Right, and then Biggie... Biggie goes, I can rap. <laughs> and then he raps a couple lines yeah, and, and then, then he just well, jumps like, into the arms of kofi and xavier and josh was like, oh that was something yeah and then uh the fashion police were talking about solving all their mysteries and mm-hmm. he's like well i actually don't solve anything on the show i just place or i didn't i didn't no, solve I don't, i'm not actually a detective detective that's what i said TV. right right and then fandango kind of gave him a look and said i look up to you man <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was it was and it, it was funny. Yeah. It, tr- just for something they plugged on the on for, the show for for a uh, what is technically like a, an advertising right. thing. They did a yeah no, a no job it with good. it incorporating everything. Yeah, so it was entertaining. Yep, and it got the fashion police on TV, so you really can't complain about it's that. True, and it wasn't one of those uh, m- montages that mm. they've been doing with the Ascension. Yeah, that's although true. those are entertaining. Yeah, because the Ascension is. Sadly misused. Yeah, it, but you know what they do use them for is not terrible. It's true, but, but I mean, they're underutilized. Yeah, that, I would assume they probably wrestle at the house shows, right? I guess they're probably like in tag matches and stuff. Yeah, I mean, otherwise, what's you know? It's well, true. Why would you pay these guys? It's very true. <laughs> I think Mojo and uh, Ty Dillinger was the dark match before the show. That would so, make sense because yeah. they weren't on the show at all. Because that's a surprise. Yeah, you act surprised. No, it was yep. just pointing now um so up next the new day come out Mm. Um, probably the best non-match segment yes i would say so um and they say that they're gonna they're gonna reignite their rivalry with the usos Mm -hmm. and they plan on winning and heading into wrestlemania as the smackdown tag team champions um and then the uh the usos come out and they said that we had a great rivalry last year but this isn't about respect this mm. is about the tag team titles yep. and winning and um <laughs> they go throughout their gimmick and how they kind of change themselves around to be ser- serious competitors and mm. they kind of tell new day maybe, maybe you guys should cut the shtick and yeah. kind of be serious about things they also mentioned that they've been around for nine years and they haven't been on the wrestlemania card once yeah which is crazy they were on the yeah. free show a lot right? i wouldn't say crazy I guess that's true, but yeah. I mean they it's, were. It's, it's, it, they were a lower card tag team. Yeah, but yeah, they were still a solid piece in the tag team division. Yeah, the tag team tag division, team division, was division wasn't bad. very good. Yeah, that's so. true. Um, yeah, after <laughs> what we were talking about from the Titus O'Neil stuff mm-hmm. we were talking about last week. Exactly, it was yeah. just trash tag teams, yep. gimmick tra- uh, tag teams yeah. mostly. Um, anyway, yeah. So. At this point, the New Day, or Big E specifically, was a little uh, taken aback mm-hmm. by the fact that offended. the Usos were telling... They triggered him. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> about how they uh, they said that they need to drop the comedy stuff. And um, Big E goes off on them saying that we don't need to go back and... Uh, we, don't, we don't need to look to the future because we do the same thing day in and day yeah. out. And we prove that we've done... Yeah. Like whatever we have to do, and that's why we're the five time take or we will be five. we will be the five time yeah. taking champion. I thought he was, very... was gonna say five time WCW champion. It was funny. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> um so and then they had the longest title reign as mm-hmm. well. So. Yeah. So yeah. that like we're breaking records and mm-hmm. winning championships and stuff like that. And we hosted WrestleMania last year and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it was it was good. Yeah. It was actually a very serious heated promo from Big E which we normally don't get. And you added something new to the rivalry. Oh yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean granted like we said probably last week that it was almost 5 months ago. What that uh that, that they had their last match. Yeah. yeah. It was back in October. Yeah. Um and then they kind of stopped talking. Mhm. And uh then like the music or the the lights go down a little bit and the Bludgeon Brothers actually come out. Yeah. Now. Um. So they enter the ring or they walk down to the ring and then the New Day and the Usos kind of cautiously exit the ring yeah. and then go up the ramp and then. Well, they, yeah, I think before the uh, Bludgeon Brothers got in the ring, I think they got up on the apron and then noticed there was five guys. Then turned around and grabbed the hammers. Oh right? yeah. And then, they. I think they. Yeah, or maybe they were before they got even onto the apron. Yeah. But either way. Yeah. Um, so 
the the five of them leave and the, the brother bludgeon brothers are just standing in the ring and then that was it that was that it cuts a commercial yeah yeah nothing <laughs> else happened yeah. came of that it's just kind of you know the whole thing yeah we're here mm-hmm. basically yep. not like Bray's stupid thing well yeah <laughs> um so up next, we go backstage, right? And we or we got a clip from earlier yeah. in the night. It's like Shane's been really active tonight, and then right. they showed a clip of something that happened earlier. Yeah, this is Aiden English and Rusev complaining to Shane that they haven't been on TV, mm-hmm. and well, which is funny because it's Aiden true. English gets put on a, in, into a match with somebody who hasn't been on TV. Mm-hmm. So he says, well, you're going to face Shinsuke tonight, and then Rusev thought it was him, and he says, not you, Aiden English. And so, yeah. So yep. apparently there has been rumors going around. I don't know the validity of these at well, all because, yeah. um, but Rusev versus Shane could be something that is explored. If if Shane is going to have a match at WrestleMania, that would be the one. That would be the best mm-hmm. one because a Rusev's not doing anything right now, right? So and it's not going to be for the U.S. title. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it won't be for the world title. Nope. So I think that this for a non. Or for a storyline, then mm-hmm. it's probably the best way to go. Yeah. Because it's a built-in story because they're flat out refusing to acknowledge Rusev right. Day. And especially, what was it, two, maybe three weeks ago when Shane was out and they started chanting Rusev Day and he was like duly noted or yeah. something so like that. Yeah. They're, they're making it a storyline that they're ignoring mm-hmm. his popularity. Yeah. Which is, while kind of counterintuitive, it still works as a storyline. Right. Because it's like they're the land of opportunity, but they're kind of squashing opportunity. Yeah, it's... And it's funny because they're pushing him as the good guy, even though he's doing bad guy things. It's all... Mm -hmm. It's Shane McMahon. It's crazy nonsense. Anyway. Which is crazy that since he's been back, he's been pretty much front and center. Mm Mm-hmm. Even though it's supposed to be the show about the superstars. Yep. Whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Ziggler does a phone promo. Basically says the reason why I came back to SmackDown Live is because I want a main event WrestleMania and win the WWE Championship. Yeah, and that's it. Or that be was... the WWE Champion. Whatever. Which yeah. we kind of figured as much, considering he that, came back. Yeah, and he pretty much said that he was uh, the U.S. title was beneath him. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, but because he yeah. vacated it, obviously. It's true. Um. Uh, we go in the back. We got a Bobby Roode interview. Mm-hmm. He says he wants to test himself against Randy Orton yep. he because he, he hasn't faced him yet. Or yeah, whatever. and then he made mention of Randy Orton being mad because he was ranked high, well, lower than yeah, Bobby uh, Roode. Bobby Roode. And then Orton comes over and he's like, "This has nothing to do with the list." Uh, he doesn't really you care have that, about uh, the list. United States Champion, and that's just the one title that has I have not had. And for the first time in a really long time, <coughs> Randy Orton actually has a reason to do something. <laughs> I know. There's actual There's purpose mo- behind yeah, the storyline. It's crazy. It's been a really long time because you, even the Wyatt one that, that didn't made, have that, any motivation to it. Not really. Because it, it, there was no, there was no desire on his part. No, that's oh crap. We got Randy Orton here. Let's uh, let's do something different with yeah. him. There, there was no motivation. After it's his... okay. You have the title that I've never had before. And that's it. That's it. That's all you need. And so. no mention of gender. Well, we... it was mentioned oh, okay. that gender kind of yeah. instigated it. That's true. But that but was it. Yeah. Gender wasn't even on, on the, the show. show. Yeah. So it, they made the right decision to kind of back off on that. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, like then that, you know, it kind of makes the feud actually feel important now because instead of Randy Orton more important <laughs> it go. didn't feel important at all oh i was like really they're gonna have this match over the list and then they just squashed it right there exactly and then... so having having randy orton have motivation to do something just completely you know makes it better yeah um so yeah yep and then we got the match made earlier with aiden english versus shinsuke nakamura mm-hmm. you know aiden's a, aiden's a decent worker in the ring I, I think the fact that he was in a tag team for such a long time and he's kind Her, of gotten squashed yeah. especially a guy that apparently was not very favorable in the company in simon gotch oh yeah, yeah. well that that didn't help no yeah once they made it to the main roster they did nothing Forget about it now so basically got the ascension treatment the fact of the matter is gotch getting released was the best yes. thing for him absolutely so um 
But yeah, this match was was pretty good, no, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, they put on a decent um, match. They gave it a, more time than I was expecting. Yeah, well, because we kind of figured it'd just be a squash. Right, yeah. I um, mean, Rusev did get involved, I think, once. He, he kicked he, Shinsuke. He, he got him with the Mashka kick yeah. from the outside, mm-hmm. um, which kind of didn't really help uh, Shinsuke's thinking yeah. ability. Um, but, obviously, Shinsuke went over with the Kinshasa. Mm-hmm. And then after, as he's exiting, Cena's music hits, and yeah. he comes out. I, no, I like that, because it kind of... It's like, I'm, I'm ready for you. Right, and instead of wasting time on his exit and another entrance, you kind of get him crossing paths, and, of course, Cena had to point to the sign and look at him. Yeah, and, you know, no, yeah, it was, it was a good nod. Them, so. yeah. Because sometime, or normally, what they would do is that Shinsuke would leave... They'd cut to the backstage where Cena's passing him before right. he makes yeah, his entrance. Something That's like normally that. what they would do. Yeah. So this this is a little mm-hmm. more uh, organic. So. But don't worry. In the AJ versus Cena match, we got what two or three commercial breaks. Well, it started at like nine thirty-seven. It yeah, was something yeah. Like that. Yeah. So, so I think uh, we got two commercial breaks. Mm-hmm. And weirdly enough, we saw a Styles Clash and a um, AA during the commercial break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but, obviously, it wasn't meant to be the end. Of the no, match anyway. I know, but like, it was just—it's just one of those things. Usually, nothing significant of true. significance happens during the. Yeah. Uh, so Cena kicks out of both the Styles Clash and the, a Phenomenal Forearm. Yep. Which is somewhat surprising. Mm-hmm. Um, AJ went through the table outside. He got AA'd through a table mm-hmm. on the outside. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, this was. This was a good match. Yeah, for Not, for a SmackDown match, it was pretty good. Yeah. Well, actually, that's. Some of the matches have been quality, but yeah. the problem is, is the crap storylines yeah. overshadow it's it. True, yeah. and since this, this there was really n- no story, <laughs> nothing needed. Yeah, um, or I should say, there was no additional story to the match. Right. There was no involvement from enough, the outside. Enough history. Or... It was just like their match last year, Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. when that was Cena fantastic. came back. Yeah. Um. So, uh, but yeah, the the match was solid. Mm-hmm. Um. It was a clean finish. Uh, Cena wins with the AA. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right, well, first, um, it's kind of funny the way they did it, though. AJ locks in the calf crusher, and then Cena like just powers out uh, of it, and then he hits him with the yeah, AA, and yeah. the, and then he uh, pins him. Mm-hmm. So that was a little surprising the way they did it, but at the same time, you know, it, it look it's definitive. I I would have been completely against the idea of putting John Cena over clean against AJ, but it doesn't matter. That's true. It's, it's SmackDown. It doesn't matter. Like I said last week, some of my favorite wrestlers are on SmackDown, and it just it doesn't even matter. Yeah, it's true. There's yeah. so many times where I just don't feel in touch with the show, and it's just like, all right, it's happening. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And then we get to Fast Lane. It'll be like the best pay per view of the year. Yeah, so probably. <laughs> um, so now it's going to be made a, I guess, a six pack challenge. That's how they'll. Well, they, they, I think it's. Well, I guess they can't Should call it a fatal six-way. Six way. No. Yeah, I guess they will call it a um, six-pack challenge. The SmackDown's thing. That match is generally a one-fall, right? Yeah, but I think, I think that they, they should, should make do an elimination. elimination. Absolutely. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, That'd because be cool. you don't have much to fill out the card. It's besides true. the Usos. And, well, there's well, the tag team title match, mm-hmm. uh, the U.S. title match. The women's. The, the women's match. And there's only one. There's right. no other feuds no. going on right now. Yeah. Um, and there's no... Um, actual like grudge matches going on either. Not really. So that's three. Almost four Shinsuke matches. and Shinsuke Rusev. might wrestle some. Maybe. Maybe they'll build something up there. Yeah, that would make which sense. would be fine because that puts Rusev on the yeah pay per view and Shinsuke gives him something to do. Yeah. Since this so. is what this is only the second time he's had a match since the Rumble. They had that tag match. I oh, think. Yeah. That's right, right after yeah. it, and then. So I guess yeah, but it would just make sense. Yeah. Because even if they need to cut down on time, they can cut. They can just make some of the yeah. other matches shorter. It's true, yeah. but I, I think that that would be the right thing to do. I, I agree. Uh, will it happen? Maybe. No, I, don't know. I mean, but. and they've generally come through with their six pack challenges mm-hmm. or any of the. Actually, there many of their multi man matches have been good. Yeah, it's just it. It's the 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 week to week is what kills it. Yeah, it's just so hard to watch. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Um, anyway, yep. after the match, Kevin Owens' music hits. Him and Sami Zayn go to the ring or walk towards the ring. Um, and then Corbin comes in through the crowd. Mm-hmm. He um, attacks, what, AJ? Or, probably yeah. attacks AJ. And then all there's all kinds of fighting because mm-hmm. obviously by then Owens and Zayn get into the ring. 
Um, and then Ziggler comes out seemingly to the rescue of AJ and Cena. Mm-hmm. And then well, the he, three of them stood tall in the ring, right? Yeah. And then uh, Ziggler went after AJ, and then Cena put Ziggler away with the AA. Yes. And, and uh, that was that. That was the end of the show. That was the end of it. Mm-hmm. Um, not the worst show by no, it far. Wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad because you've added a couple of new things into yeah. it. And so and that's pretty much just John there's, Cena. There's a little progress in some areas and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's plus. Well, it, it's it seems like the the problem is the long term building. Like they mm-hmm. just don't know what to do. Yeah. So, and I guess the closer we get to the end game, the better off we are. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I mean, no longer dual branded pay per views after Mania, so, so that should help, help a, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. yeah. Because they'll have feuds that don't... I just hope they don't designate a significant portion of times for feuds that are going to be showcased on the pay-per-view. I hope they at least are able to build smaller feuds that take place just on SmackDown. Yeah. That's one of my concerns. It's fair. But can't worry about it. Yeah. Well, there's (laughs) nothing we can do about it. Nope. Exactly. So, yeah. But, yeah, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.